There is no sadness Jesus can't feel, and there is no sorrow that he cannot heal. For all things work according to the Master's holy will, no matter what you're going through. Remember that God is only using you, for the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. Welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. I'm CJ. For your scores in the National League and Major League Baseball, the New York Mets knocked off the Philadelphia Phillies 5-2 as Jordan Valspin launched a home run in the ninth to help seal the deal. The Atlanta Braves were blasted by the Chicago Cubs 5-1 as Jeff Samardizia struck out 7. The Miami Marlins shut out and crushed the Houston Astros 4-0 as Carlos Zambrano went the distance and only allowed three hits and struck out nine, while the Cincinnati Reds pummeled the Milwaukee Brewers 6-1 as Jay Bruce belted out a three-run home run. The San Diego Padres got past the Colorado Rockies 3-2 with Drew Pomeranz taking one out of the yard and the LA Dodgers manhandled the San Francisco Giants 9-1 with two RBIs from Andre Ethier. A day after Philadelphia Phillies pitcher Cole Hamels intentionally hit rookie Washington Nationals Bryce Harper in the small of his back and stated, quote, I was trying to hit him. I'm not going to deny it. I'm not going to injure the guy. They're probably not going to like me for it, but I'm not going to say I wasn't trying to do it. I think they understood the message and they threw it right back. That's the way and I respect it. Close quote. Well, for his actions and perhaps his words, Hamels was suspended for five games by Major League Baseball and he was also fined. For your quick NFL hits, Brian Zanders is out as general manager of the Denver Broncos after three years in that role. Buffalo Bills running back Fred Jacek signed a two-year contract potentially worth $9 million. The Seattle Seahawks and first-round draft pick Bruce Irvin agreed to terms on a four-year deal and there is a team option for a fifth year. New England Patriots offensive tackle Matt Light formally announced his retirement in a ceremony at the team's Hall of Fame at Gillette Stadium on Monday. Oakland Raiders safety Tyvon Brandt signed the $6.2 million franchise tag tender on Monday and reported to offseason workouts with the team. The Baltimore Ravens announced they have signed nose tackle Ryan McBean, who has been suspended six games by the NFL for violating the league's performance enhancing drug policy. And finally, a Texas judge ordered Deion Sanders' estranged wife, Pilar, on Monday to stay at least 500 yards away from the former NFL star's suburban Dallas home in a ruling steaming from a scuffle between the pair last month, and Deion will also have custody of their kids for now. This sports segment was sponsored by Simple Church Ministry, where they are not the spectator sport, we Christians call church. For more information on their philosophies and inner workings, please visit their website at simplechurchministry.org and make sure you follow them on Twitter at Simple Church Men. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cjsports, that's C-E-E-J-A-Y, sports at gmail.com for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my brand new blog site, cjsports.com, and be sure to follow me on Twitter, at cjsports. Stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment, where we sprinkle a little spirituality (laughs) in your sport. I'm CJ. Be blessed, and have a tremendous Tuesday. And in closing, as justice is beginning to take shape, I am still Trayvon Martin.